Welcome back to Baku Automation Lab, guys. Let's continue uh, second part of test and generation sessions. Okay, we have already seen uh, before suit and uh, after suit annotations in the last session, and uh, already we have covered uh, some theoretical part related to test engine benefits. Uh, to why we need to uh, need test engine selenium, or what is test engine, all those things. If you not watch previous part one first, guys, watch part one first and then come to the. Okay. We are doing practical sessions where we have already created before suit and after suit annotations. And we have one test where we have launched this character.net website in the browser. Okay, now let's uh, turn out to take a more annotations like before test and after test. Okay, I'm, uh, we, are, we are understanding the uh, test engine annotations via this test engine XML file. Okay, now we have created the two annotations before suit and after suit. So in the test engine XML file, the post suit will be executed here and a suit tag will be end here. So after suit will be executed here. Okay. So first we, it's executed before suit and the last it's executed after suit. Now the second annotations the group is like a before test and after test. Okay. So a before test is like after immediately complete, oh, complete this uh, suit tag, there is a tag name as a test, right? And this tag is end here. So Immediately the test tag is uh, started. So before test means that before test annotation will get executed here. Okay, before just this of test and after test annotation will be executed here after just test. Whatever test we have in the test in the XML file, every test uh, before test and uh, every test uh, end the after test will get executed. So let's see this uh, example practically. Uh, we'll create a before test and after test annotations here. Uh, so we not required this for some time. It will take a lots of time to execute execution. We'll just understand this one. So I'll just print one message here. And like uh, I am in calculator. Test. Okay. This is the one message we print. Uh, let's add some uh, color different here. Like it will be printed red. So that we'll understand this is a test. Let's create two more annotations here. So let's create one method here like public void before test. Okay. And let's get annotations here like uh, add the rate before test. Okay. Just import this from test engine. We we'll change it to test engine annotations before test. Let's import this. Like this, but uh, we can import it here like food and so this is because of, so I'll just print a message here like a system dot out dot print LR. I am in first okay. so, same way we'll uh, copy that and we'll create one more analysis like after dust. After test and name it test. And also after test. Okay. Also import this one after test from test engine annotations. So just importing this this one after test it here. Let's try it like that. Okay. Perfect. Now we have created two more annotations like a before uh, before test and after test. So how after test and before test will uh, get executed? Don't be confused, guys. Let's try to understand why this test ng XML file itself. Okay. So before suit will be executed before suit. After suit will be executed after suit. Before test will be executed after this before this test tag and after test will be executed after this test tag again. Okay. So let's run this and uh, see whether what is the output here. Perfect. So test run perfectly. So let's see. Yes, before suit is executed here, before suit, and that before test immediately get executed, like here before test. Because after this before suit, there is a test tag. Then one test executed, test get executed in the calculated test. We have printed in different color, red color as a error message. And after that, uh, after this test is completed, uh, like immediately after test get executed. And after this test tag is end, there is a suit end. So after suit is getting executed. So this is how uh, before suit, before test, the after test, and after suit addition we get work. Okay. Don't be confused. Just understand why this test and the XML file. Hope you understand perfectly. Okay. 
now let's uh, try to learn two more annotations like before class after class okay so learn this also via test injection type this is the test this is the test and after that there is a class type so before this class uh, the class is uh, before class will get executed and after this class after class will get executed okay so let's create two more annotations here like uh, public void before class print one message here like assistant route dot print alone and in for class okay just give annotations like a before class let's import these annotations also okay so i will just import in here right here so this one is import before class Okay, so before class getting imported so let's create one more annotations here after this test before after class class okay so just copy this one paste it here after class and here also after class okay, this is one before class this one after class and let's import this after class as well so I'll just copy this one and paste it here and I'll type here like after class. Right. So we have done two more annotations before class, after class. So how this exhibition will be uh, run? Let's uh, try to run this test in the file and see the output. So it's executing via test in JXML file. And yes, perfect. So let's see how the execution flow is. Before suit here this is the before suit, uh, and then, then before suit be, uh, before test because uh, test is immediately tag. So before test, before class. So this is the class is the immediately tag after test. So before class, and one test is executed in this class, right? And after that, after class because the class end here, okay? The class tags end here. After class will be executed. Then immediately test get executed. So test after test uh, executed. Uh, and after test uh, tag, there is a suit tag. So text uh, suit tag close. Then after uh, suit will get executed. So this is the flow how we have executed uh, before suit, before test, before class, after class, after test, after suit, and one test. Okay. Hope you guys understanding. Do it practically by yourself. If you have any confusion, you can ask me. Okay. Don't worry about it. It's very easy and simple concept if you learn via this test in XML file. But if you try to learn uh, with this code, like a before test, how it is getting exhibited via this class file, then you will get confused. Okay, so just understand why this test in, in JXML file, how annotations will get exhibited. Okay, now let's understand uh, one more concept like before method, after method. This is very important because we have dots of method, and uh, whenever we create a test, uh, it will treat as a one method in C, right? Like if we have a one test and it will create as a one method. So uh, let's try to understand uh, if one test in XML file or class level XML file, we have multiple uh, methods as well. Okay, so how this test before method and before after method annotation will get executed? We'll, let's see practically. Okay, so try to create here one more method like a public uh, void uh, before uh, method method, and uh, let's create a one uh, annotation for this like uh, before. Uh, method okay, and we can write here like one simple message is like system dot out dot m in before method okay just import this before method uh, here and let's create first after method as well and then we will import it okay, let's create after method so let's remove this before from here and uh, let's just type after after method and here also after method. let's import this before and after two methods so import this one like here uh, we use before method for method and uh, we use after oops Okay. So these are two important methods. So we have one method, one single test is running like one, one method is here. So if I run this program, it will execute once. 
the before method and after method because immediately after uh, the, the class tag end there is one single method in this class right so uh, how it is executing so before suit is executed then test is executed uh, before test and then class is executed after before class and then before method is executed here we have one method in this uh, site and one test is executed and after that immediately after method is executed and after class is executed because uh, class end here and after test is executed and uh, like after that we have suit is executed right perfect so what ha what happen if you have multiple methods in one single file like we have this is the calculator app right so if i create one more test here public void Right, like uh, let's see, we have two URLs uh, like this supplier. Okay, let's see, we'll create a class for this supplier. Uh, we'll create a test for this supplier. So, add the right test. This is the test annotation. Okay, and I'll print one message here. I mean, supplier test. Okay, I'm in a supplier. Now we have two methods inside this. How this uh, could this be uh, code for something so you will get understand this test this is. we have two methods we have only single method so before method and after method get executed once let's see if, if you have two methods uh, inside uh, one class okay so how the execution code will get executed so let's run this uh, from test and xml file Right. execution completed now let's see we have two methods uh, here so before test get executed okay before test executed then before test get executed then before class get executed okay then before method gets executed and one test executed here right then after that after method will be executed because whenever we start one method it will execute before method and whenever one end one method it will execute after method again here is a again second method he found in one single class itself so again before method will get executed again second test will get executed and after method get executed right so we have if you have two methods in class so before method and after method will get executed two times and then again after after class after test and after suit Right. If you have five methods in the our the one single class, then it will execute it before method and after method five five times. So this is how the test change execution flow is uh, executed. Okay. So this is we have uh, learned um, before method, after method, before class, after uh, after class, uh, and all these things uh, practically in this session. Okay. So this is how annotations will get work. Okay. So, yeah. If you have any uh, like question related to this uh, concept, you can ask me. Uh, okay, just comment out me in this uh, after this video, and I will give you the answers related to this. Okay, it's very easy concepts, guys. Just do it practically by yourself and uh, understand how the test injection annotations flow is going on. Okay, if you have any doubt related to this, as I already told you, you can just comment out me. Okay, so let's continue in the next session. Till time, have a great day. Bye bye. Take care.